Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first tutorial. And this tutorial is about um, uh, teaching you guys how to edit or retouch a raw file, um, an interior photo. Uh, in this case, it's a hotel interior photo um, to edit in Lightroom. Um, so since this is my first tutorial, so forgive me if I forget something or if it's not clear um, it is intended to be like very quick and simple so I assume this is not for beginners so this is more for an advanced uh, retouch and um, I'm just gonna probably run through the process and I won't be able to explain every detail but um, I try my best um, so let me go ahead and drag this file into Lightroom. Okay. And I'm going to import. Okay, here we go. So this image is in the library right now. So I'm going to go to develop. Let me just. So we're going to be mainly using um, this part to edit the photo, which actually it is actually the only part that's important. Um, so the first thing I'm do, I do is um, I change the uh, the, uh, I use the lens correction. Um, as you can see here, the vertical lines are slightly circular around, and uh, that's because of the distortion of the, the lens. Um, the wider the lens, the more distortion you have. Um, so this is a pretty cool function. Just one, once we enable the profile correction, you can see magically it makes or it turns all it straightens all the vertical lines here so it's pretty cool it saves a lot of work if you were to have to if you if you had to do this uh, Photoshop on a manual mode it will take you a long time or pretty much impossible there are some uh, functions in Photoshop I guess but then that's pretty simple here um, I go ahead and remove the chromatic aberrations as well. Um, not sure if the vertical lines are like 100% uh, uh, straight. So sometimes I try different uh, modes here and, and see which one is like. I think the vertical one keeps it all straight in this case. We use this one. Okay. Um, so as you can see in the profile here, it already detected the right uh, camera uh, and the correct lens it's using here the uh, fourteen twenty four which I use. Um, unless you're using a very non popular or older lens, uh, the, the non mainstream lens lenses probably it won't detect it or can't. Um, then you probably have to tr see if you can find it here on a list uh, but if you use like one of the, uh, the any of the uh, Nikon and Canon the, the regular ones it should be fine it should cover most of the uh, the regular lens let me close this one let me go ahead and go to the basics and here you can just change the exposure contrast and since the original image has a, a pretty decent exposure, I would say, so we don't need, need to change a lot, but you can play around with this uh, exposure here. Contrast. So I, I prefer to have it a little darker uh, because this is my technique when I'm u I'm using a different functions later to light up um, different parts of a room to make it uh, look 
uh, different. I'm going to increase the clarity just a little bit. It depends on the image, so in this case, I'm going to just use it a little bit. So just by uh, my intuition. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay, let me close this one. Okay, one of the main features here in Lightroom, you can use the mask here. I'm going to open it up. And you can basically apply a, a different uh, sections or like different parts in, in your image and then change it, uh, change the exposure, uh, de decrease the exposure, clarity, and, and all these uh, parameters, you can change it. Okay, let me go ahead and um, I think when you first start, you probably have to play around and see which, uh, what's best and where to place all all the different lights and uh, wh where you want to alter the exposure and stuff. So let me just go ahead and do uh, without explaining too much. So here I'm gonna go ahead and and light this up. It's a little slow. Give it more exposure here. Give another exposure here. And back in the days, we were using film cameras, and uh, we had to place uh, multiple lights in the room to lit up certain parts. But I think this is a pretty good technique to um, to compensate. This is not perfect, but um, as you can see, it can lit up certain parts, and it sort of looks like you know, you know, there, we place a speed light or somewhere to lit this up, but then this is actually done in Lightroom. I place another one here. Okay. Looks pretty cool. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm just exaggerating each part. So that it has more contrast, each light. Place another one here. So at the beginning, if you're not sure where to place those, I uh, just probably gonna spend a little bit more time and play around with it. There's no rule to it where to place it exactly, but I probably use my intuition, whatever looks good. A little small one maybe. So this part is pretty dark. Let me lift this up a little bit. A little bit more. It's pretty cool. Let me lit up the uh, bathtub here in the back. So I'm just going to do this like really quick uh, because I already have the finished product somewhere.
that was delivered to the client. So I'm going to just place. Uh, of course, it took me like the actual, uh, the actual final photo took me a lot longer. But um, this one, I'm just going to show you what you can do with Lightroom. Place another one here. Of course, you can change the temperature here. What else can you do? Highlight, shadow, clarity, sharpness, and there's no limitation to it. But then in this tutorial, I'm going to just show you like this main feature here. Okay, uh, I think this is enough uh, just for d demonstration purpose. Um, okay, let me just show you the before and after by using these this mass uh, these mass lights here. The original one looks kind of dull; it's kind of flat. But once you apply all the lights on it, it looks like a lot better actually. So. Let me just go back to the basics and then maybe change the temperature a little bit. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. And um, you can sharpen the image. There's a lot of functions you can do. So that's for the first part using Lightroom to lit up your room or do to um, get rid of the distortion etc so we're gonna export this photo um, as a TIFF file desktop I always use TIFF and 16 bits for editing purposes it's a, it's a huge file but uh, this is what I'm using export it so <clears throat> once we have exported the TIFF file on your desktop um, so the second part would be to edit all these small details in Photoshop um, okay we're gonna start dragging this TIFF file into Photoshop And again, this is going to be a very quick demonstration. I'm not going to do it like very accurate, but um, uh, just to show you what functions I use basically. Um, the first thing I I remove all these uh, things like um, on the ceilings, whatever it is, and all the dirt spots. Okay, you can actually remove this too if it's not too important. We'll see. I'm gonna remove this real quick. Again, the original ones for the client, we spent actually a lot more time on this, but um, for demonstration purpose, we're going to just show you the, the uh, functions we use. Yeah. 
Okay, some like this, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, but you should remove all the cables and what have you. Okay. Still here. As you can see, the bed sheet is like uh, has a lot of uh, creases and folds. Um, let me show you how to remove this, uh, like in a very efficient way. Go ahead and copy the layer, and then we're gonna blur this uh, copy layer and use Gaussian blur. Um, I already have a value here, like 27.5 pixels. Um, it depends on your size of your image and how big the uh, part that you want to edit is. So in this case, I'm going to use 27. So you can pl uh, play around and see this won't probably won't work. Get it like as like blurry, so that makes the cl uh, sheet clean. Let's use like 27.5, okay. Um, after this, we're going to apply a mask to this layer. And right now, the white indicates that uh, we can't see through. So let me change this to black, which means we can see through the first layer. And now we go ahead and use a pen. And I use the opacity about 38 or around 30. And let's go ahead and <clears throat> brush this. As you can see, it's pretty efficient, this method. Let me do this real quick here. So you can spend a lot like, um, on the details and enlarge the picture and carefully just clean this here. Okay. Same goes to the pillow. Actually, the little details here, you can clean this. I'm going to increase the opacity just to make it faster, but then you should keep the value to like smaller. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Oops. It should be softer here. Sorry, I forgot. Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to stop here. So I'm just going to show you the effect of putting the extra blur layer over it so it just soften it uh, using a mask. So that's the function. And normally we'll clean this, this like little uh, uh, dust sp spots and dirt spots, what have you. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and save this. So uh, now let me show you the these two files here, uh, the before and after. Okay, this is the after. 
This is the before. So what we did essentially is um, lit up all these dark parts here, as you can see, using the uh, mask to lit up. It looks actually pretty cool. It looks like we actually place a uh, uh, strobes here or uh, speed lights here to lit up certain areas here. Um, so, for instance, in the back here, we'll lit up the bathtub, this area. Um, and the second main part is basically to clean the sheet here a little bit, which I showed you using the uh, Gaussian blur with the mask. And just clean out little stuff like this here, like the uh, cables and all that stuff. Like, uh, like this stuff, I don't know what the hell it is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so this is the before, the raw file. And this is uh, the final uh, file that we sent to the client. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for the uh, for for watching. Uh, this is my very very first YouTube uh, tutorial. I'm hoping to make more. And um, subscribe. Uh, thanks very much.